the Bureau of Economic Analysis, international data is getting a new look, giving users more detail on the U.S. economy's relationship with the rest of the world. This is the most significant restructuring of BEA's international data since 1976. The restructured accounts will provide greater and more complete information about the global financial picture and the United States' place in it. With the June 4, 2014 International Trade and Goods and Services Report, the number of service categories available monthly expands from seven to nine. Also, seasonally adjusted trade and goods and services are available for selected countries and areas. With the June 18, 2014 release of the Quarterly International Transactions Account, users get additional detail on trade and goods and services in the current account, while the financial account is reorganized and expanded to include additional detail by instrument, by sector, and by maturity. For trade and services, the number of subcategories available quarterly expand from 10 to 20. With the June 30, 2014 release of the Quarterly International Investment Position, users get additional detail on the maturity of investment, and data on direct investment positions is reported on an asset and liability basis, like a balance sheet. These changes align U.S. data more closely with updated international guidelines, such as the sixth edition of the International Monetary Fund's Balance of Payments and International Investment Position Manual. Keeping up with the international guidelines makes it easier for users to compare U.S. data with data from our major trade and investment partners. Several industrialized countries have already incorporated these new standards into their international accounts. More information is available at www.bea.gov forward slash international forward slash modern dot htm. There, you will find table template previews for the new presentations a PDF fact sheet on the restructuring of international statistics, and a recording of a recent webinar on the changes. There's also a link to an article on the revisions that appeared in the March 2014 issue of BEA's Survey of Current Business. All are focused on helping you better understand these significant changes.